Learning looks a lot different these days in this world of technology, and now particularly since we are out of school this week due to the coronavirus uh, and the need um, for our schools to take a break and, and get folks home and, and uh, secluded, if, if you will, social distancing. Um, what kinds of things, parents are probably thinking, oh my gosh, my kids are missing out on all of these days in school on this education. And, and uh, while nothing is a replacement for time in class, there are some options that, that families can consider. Yeah, well, the first, the first place I would start on the giving advice to parents is develop a plan for your family. Um, your child's going to be home this week more than you had anticipated. Mm -hmm. And so uh, make, a, make a plan for your family. Um, hopefully that plan will include that um, they remain secluded, that they don't go uh, and, and gather. That defeats the purpose of not being in school. Mm -hmm. And that uh, also that there are activities for your child to do. That might be um, playing cards, the old mm -hmm. deck of cards. Yes. Way back. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot of value there. Board games, there's a lot of value there. Mm -hmm. There are some great um, technological opportunities for your child, too. My challenge to you as a parent would be make sure that uh, if, if your child is exercising technology, that it is um, something that keeps them actively engaged versus just passively staring at a screen. Mm -hmm. So keep their brains working this week. There's, there's no expectation to learn the Pythagorean theorem this week. There's uh, no expectation to conjugate a verb and have that assessed this week. Sure. But keep your mind engaged. And, and then if we can get through this week, then we can get to the point of what does learning look like in the, in the Sioux Falls School District um, if we have an extended uh, absence from our, from our buildings. And those are conversations we're having. Um, no decisions made. We're having made. a lot. We're having a lot, yes. No decisions made at, the, at this point, but certainly something that um, we're, we're looking at for down the road. And, and that may look different for elementary, middle, and high. I would even say that it will look different for elementary, then for middle, then for high. And it may look different for some kids at all levels. So we have a, we have a good amount of technology in our school system. And all of our middle school and high school students, or, or nearly all, if not all, of our middle and high school students now have a device. The question is, now do they have the connectivity in their home to be able to use that device? So we'll be ready to um, teach remotely but that remote teaching um, may be from a technological standpoint. It also might be the old uh, paper and pencil standpoint. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll have packets of information that we'll have available for students um, if that's the appropriate methodology that we use going forward. Uh, it, it, I've been asked, are you ready to do e-learning? And my answer is yes, but I don't think that's a, a panacea and we've got to be ready to deliver instruction much more than just e-learning. Mm -hmm. And we'll be prepared for that if we're extended beyond this week. Right, and so it's an all new world where it comes to delivery of education. Uh, we'll keep rolling with the punches and, and deliver a, a high quality education for your students. Thanks for joining us today. Mm -hmm.